Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Welcome to your Heroclix headquarters, Clicksmith Spectacular. So in honor of the Clicksmith holiday today, we're going to be counting down the top five Christmas-themed holiday hero clicks. So without further ado, let's get to the list. So starting us off, on the list at number five, we have the Holiday Elf. Holiday Elf comes in at 100 points, has the Snowfall Team ability, which it means he's a wild card, so he'll be able to copy all of your friendly team abilities. Starts with some running shot, 10 attack, 18 defense with super senses, and a 3 damage. He also has a 7 range with 3 targets and the sharpshooter ability, which allows him to make range attacks while adjacent, as well as the checking the list, uh, improve movement, and targeting to ignore characters. So super helpful for that long range triple target. He starts off with a special attack power that says, at the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3. Holiday Elf can use Incapacitate and Support this turn. And on a 4 to 6, Holiday Elf can use Penetrating Blast this turn. Which gives him some great options for triple target Incapacitate or some big Penetrating Blast damage. And then later on in his dial, he gets a special damage power that says at the beginning of your turn, give Holiday Elf a free action and choose an opposing character and another friendly character that are both within line of fire and are adjacent to each other. At the beginning of your next turn, those characters can't attack or deal damage to each other. So that's a pretty nice special ability as well. The only reason this guy wouldn't be higher on my list is because he unfortunately drops to an 8 attack for the last few clicks of his dial, and that's just a little too low for a 100 point character, especially nowadays. But I do love the sculpt on this figure. It reminds me of Assassin's Creed. This figure actually came out, I think, a year or so after the Assassin's Creed set. And I always thought that maybe he was like a prototype design because Assassin's Creed 3 came out kind of around that same time. But uh, who knows? Coming in at number four, we have Krampus. He starts with a 12 movement with plasticity, 10 attack, 17 defense, and 0 damage. And he's indomitable and again has the snowfall team ability to make him a wild card. Krampus starts off with a trait that says that he can use the capture ability. And he can use it normally or if the target is a higher point value, he must be given a double power action instead of a power action. When Krampus releases a captured character in his starting area, in addition to the normal effects, heal Krampus to his starting line. Now he has a special attack, defense, and damage power. His special attack power says that when Krampus uses the capture ability, modify his attack value by plus one for each action token on the target character. And then for his defense, it says when Krampus doesn't have a captive, he can use super senses. And on his damage, it says he can use perplex, but uh, only to modify attack values by minus two. Now just in case you guys don't know what the capture ability does, I'll go ahead and put it on screen for you. Uh, go ahead and pause and read it, it's pretty long. Now overall, Krampus is a very good figure, very very good for capturing uh, your opponent's figures and returning them and getting the extra points, but he can be pretty easily one shot, especially in today's game. His defense is kind of low. He doesn't really have any defense power if he has a captive, so that's basically why he's going to come in at number four for me. Now coming in at number three on our list, we have the Toy Soldier. He's only 60 points. He's got a six range with a 10 attack, two damage, some sidestep, some toughness, and some indomitable, as well as the snowfall team ability to make him a wild card. He starts with a trait that says at the beginning of your turn, choose a row, column, or diagonal that includes Toy Soldier. If the chosen line includes all friendly wooden soldier bystanders, place a friendly wooden soldier bystander in either line adjacent to toy soldier or adjacent to another wooden soldier bystander. You can't place it if there are already six wooden soldier bystanders on the map. Then he's another trait that says toy soldier and friendly wooden soldier bystanders can't be carried or placed. But then on his damage, Toy Soldier and Friendly Wooden Soldier Bystanders can use Enhancement 
but only to affect other friendly characters named Toy Soldier or Wooden Soldier. When they hit with a ranged combat attack, add one action to your action total this turn. So for only 60 points, uh, they make a fun little firing squad. I would recommend trying to use two of them so you could spawn out twice as many Wooden Soldier bystanders a turn and uh, make a nice little firing line. Now they can only move up with sidestep and they can't be placed so they can't be carried so they're a little bit slow. Uh, but by the time you get up there you could easily have you know six wooden soldier bystanders and at least however many toy soldiers you brought with you to make uh, quite the firing squad. So they're pretty fun for the points and they're coming in at number three. Up next we have number two on our list, the Abominable Snowman. The Abominable Snowman starts off with charge, an 11 attack with super strength, 18 defense with invulnerability and indomitable, and a 3 damage with battle fury, as well as being giant sized and again the snowfall team ability. Coming in at a whopping 150 points, he also has improved movement to ignore elevated terrain, so helps him get around a little bit. He starts off with a really good trait that says at the end of your turn, Place an action token on all opposing characters adjacent to Abominable Snowman with an equal or lower point value. So since that's at the end of your turn, you can actually move up or charge on someone and then also give them an action token just for being adjacent to them. So that's a very powerful trait to have, as well as having traded stealth and then a special on his attack power that he gets at the back half of his dial that says uh, he can use Incapacitate with a range of 6 and when he does, he deals his printed damage value uh, to hit targets in addition to normal effects. Now he only has a 2 damage when he has that special, but still being able to incapacitate someone and deal 2 damage to them is pretty great, especially comboing that with Sidestep and Close Combat Expert and his other trait that allows him to just give action tokens to people. He is quite the powerful Holiday Hero Clicks figure. Now as always, before we get to our number one pick, we have an honorable mention to look at first. Now for my honorable mention, I decided to go with the Joker dressed as Santa Claus from Batman the Animated Series. He starts out with a trait that says uh, that he can start the game with the Christmas present equipped, and then he has a special movement power that gives him charge, plasticity, and sidestep, as well as a special damage power that gives him outwit, perplex, and when he uses either, his minimum range value is 9, on top of an 11 attack with blades, claws, fangs, 18 defense with willpower, and a 3 damage, as well as a Batman enemy team ability, for only 75 points. And the Christmas present gives him some neat special effects to use as well, as, as long as you don't roll a 1. He's a very fun figure, and really one of the only other Christmas-themed hero clicks I could think of. So if I forgot any others, please make sure to let me know in the comments uh, what other Christmas themed Hero Clicks figures are your favorites? But without further ado, our number one pick for best Christmas holiday themed Hero Clicks figure is. Jack Frost. At 135 points, he starts with an 8 movement with running shot, 11 attack with poison, 18 defense, and 3 damage, as well as having a 5 range and the sharpshooter ability to allow him to make ranged attacks while adjacent to opposing characters and a uh, special improved movement to ignore hindering terrain is nice to have as well. One of the main reasons I really like this figure is the Creeping Frost trait that says during your first turn you may place up to six snow markers on the map. These markers can't be placed within five squares of another of your snow markers or within a starting area. Jack Frost may consider these squares with his snow markers adjacent for movement purposes. When an action resolves and Jack Frost moved through a square with one of his snow markers, remove that marker from the map. Uh, this really just helps him running shot all over the map super quick and easy and can really take your opponent off guard. But moving on, he's got a special defense power that gives him barrier and toughness, as well as a special damage power that says give Jack Frost a double power action. He can make a ranged attack targeting one opposing character and this attack has an area of effect that includes all characters within two squares of the targeted character. Hit characters are dealt two damage and are given an action token. So all in all, he's a really cool figure and very fun to be running around through all the snow markers, getting those sneaky running shots off on your opponent's back line where they least expect it. Uh, you can do some really cool things with him, and he's my number one pick for the best Christmas-themed Heroclix figure. 
So that's gonna do it for our top five Christmas themed Heroclix figures. If you like the video, don't be a Grinch. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you don't want coal in your stocking, you better make sure to click that subscribe button. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on all of the holiday figures. And if I missed any, make sure to let me know. And of course, don't forget to check out the link in the description for our Patreon, and you can see your name here in the credits as well. And until next time, Merry Clicksmas to all, and to all a good night.